Remember that India has lost five brave hearts fighting at the Rajouri border and that to counter the jihadist terrorists. Another soldier lost his life during the ongoing anti-terror operation by the combined forces. These are live visuals on your screen. This is a protocol, a wreath-laying ceremony. And I just want to ensure that our viewer watching this telecast knows it's not just about five brave hearts. These are five young, brave men. Their names were Havaldar Abdul Majid, Paratrooper Sachin Lor, Lance Naik Sanjay Bisht, Captain M.V. Pranjal, Captain Shubham Gupta. Different cities, different states of this country, one Indian identity to fight terrorism. It's because of these men fighting at the border that we are able to still live a safe, protected life here in the country. But it's also a reminder that Pakistan-sponsored terrorists have been trying their best to still cause disturbances and problems, not just in the Kashmir Valley, which is witnessing peace and development in the past five to six years, but now shifting their strategy to the Jammu region, which had been earlier, uh, had been earlier peaceful relatively, but now Rajouri has become the strategy for these terrorists to focus on. We have seen attacks on Hindu civilian community in a few months ago, remember, in Rajouri. There have been encounters earlier in the past few months in Rajouri. Rajouri is also a border village area and it is a forest belt. And that is why one of the reasons of the casualties going up is it's a very difficult terrain to be operating upon. And joining me, uh, Sunil Ji Bhatt, my colleague who has enough experience of reporting from that Rajouri forest belt and how difficult such operations can be. I, I can, you know, for the brother in arms of the Indian Armed Forces, these were young men, you know, captains, and uh, whether it was Havaldar Abdul Majid or the paratrooper or the Lance Naik, all in, in, with the average age of about 25, and so much courage to be taking on terrorists, to be ensuring that eventually they were neutralized too. But also a reflection of what the terror mechanism for by Pakistan is shifting its gear. Over to you, uh, Sunil. This is at the Jammu Military Hospital. Well, Pooja, right now we are at uh, the military hospital in Jammu. A wreath laying ceremony has just begun here and top army officials as well as JNK LG Manoj Sina, JNK DGP RK Swain are going to lay wreaths on the mortal remains of our five brave hearts who uh, attained Veer Gati in the anti-terror operation uh, in Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir. And right now you can see, I will just ask the camera person to show you the pictures you can see that one by one uh, the army officers are paying their last tributes to these brave hearts who made the supreme sacrifice for the nation. In short while from now, JNK LG Manoj Sina is going to arrive here. Uh, JNK DGP RK Swain will also be here and there will be top officials from the civil administration as well and they are also going to pay their uh, tributes uh, to these brave hearts who laid down their lives for the nation. Remember, Pooja, the, these twin border districts of Rajori and Punch have become the hotbed of terrorism once again. And we are seeing a pattern in the last two years that uh, there have been uh, increase in terror activities. There have been many encounters that took place. Many terror attacks have also taken place. Unfortunately, we have suffered casualties in these anti-terror operations and it seems that Pakistan has changed its strategy. Earlier, the focus of Pakistan was uh, Kashmir Valley. But uh, now, since after the abrogation of Article 370 and 35A, there has been a massive crackdown on terrorism and terror ecosystem in the Kashmir Valley. And as a result of that, now Pakistan is focusing on the hilly areas of Jammu region like Rajori, Punch, because uh, these areas are hilly areas and it's very difficult uh, to operate in, in these particular areas. And it becomes very challenging for the security forces to carry out uh, counter terror operations because these areas are surrounded by thick forests mm. there are natural hideouts sometimes the visibility is very low so uh, this becomes you know very easy for mm. the terrorists to hide and carry out terror activities uh, in these regions mm. so that is why security forces have also changed their strategy in the recent months uh, they have got success also but mm. unfortunately uh, we are paying a heavy cost as far as 
combating terrorism in the twin border districts of Rajuri and Punch are concerned and this definitely is very worrisome. We are Sunil, losing precious also, lives. Sunil, also for the viewer watching, soldiers, let's, let's make no parts, mistake right now, that these are still Pakistan-sponsored terrorists that are infiltrating, managing to into the border and that one of the terrorists killed earlier was a Pakistani national. Absolutely, Pooja. Uh, one dreaded Pakistani Lashkar terror commander, um, you know, was neutralized yesterday in the anti-terror operation in Kalakot area of Rajuri district. His name is Kari, and as per our sources, uh, he was the mastermind of Dhangri terror attack that took place in January this year, in which seven Hindu civilians were assassinated by terrorists. He was also the mastermind of Kandi IED blast case, in which five army para commandos attained martyrdom so he was one of the most wanted terrorists uh, in this particular region he was trained in pakistan he was trained in afghanistan he was an expert in planting and exploding ieds he was also expert in uh, when it come when it came to snap uh, sniper firing so uh, uh, this uh, you know terrorist was sent by pakistan with a task to revive terrorism in the twin border districts of rajori and punch our security forces achieved a major success yesterday. They neutralized both these Lashkar terrorists yeah. and um, Kairi's, uh, you know, elimination uh, is a big shot in the arm for the uh, security forces. Yeah. But in this entire operation, unfortunately, Puja, we have lost five of our brave hearts and the entire nation is paying tributes uh, to these, yes. uh, you know, men in uniform who laid down their lives for the nation. They made the supreme sacrifice of their lives. And Puja, it becomes very easy for people to comment on these operations while sitting in their you know um, exactly. homes because these areas are not easy areas these are very difficult areas to operate in puja you have been to this region rajuri punch and you understand uh, what kind of a terrain is this thick mm -hmm. forests and uh, huge mountains mm -hmm. sometimes the visibility is so mm -hmm. weather is inclement braving all these odds still our security there are security there are natural hideouts like there are caves also but definitely which are very difficult sometimes to intercept and uh, that shows how pakistan is also sending such trained terrorists who clearly do their recce for months and manage to get that shelter it's a moment remember it's heartbreaking because in the this year specifically we have seen uh, increasing number of casualties of our armed forces. It's a changed strategy of uh, Pakistan-sponsored jihadists who are trying to find surprise attacks in different areas. And that is a reminder also for the government to ensure that while Kashmir is witnessing progress and developed, to ensure that it is that you know it, the under that Pakistan is not underestimated with the sort of strategies of terrorism that it's constantly changing to. Sunil, you know it's also a moment. While this, of course, is sheer courage of these five men who have taken on those terrorists, literally at the risk of their life. But spare a thought also for the families. Uh, I'm told that uh, to, and in some of these families, in uh, Havaldar Abdul Majid's family, there have been other siblings also, other family members who were associated with the armed forces. Uh, one of the captains was the only child of his parents. And it, it must be a heartbreaking moment right now for the families too.